So this little um, silver colored bolt is, uh, the hex fitting is, is 5 30 seconds. Four millimeters super close. I've already removed this one and it looks like that's all I'm gonna need to get this off, get that, that fairing off so I can put my uh, eagle lights on. Okay, the only other thing is, kind of hard to do this and hold the camera at the same time on the phone, is these little uh, nipples here on the bottom of the fairing. So, bottom of the fairing. They plug in right there and there, those, those rubber fittings there. So you just basically pull it straight out. And based on, and based on the hardware that I got with the Eagle Lights, I've got the bolt and these two bolts and this. I think it's just gonna be as simple as taking out these and replacing them with the two in the kit and taking out this bolt that runs on the bottom of the head of the existing headlight. So there's the nut, there's the bolt head, and underneath the fork brace is these two guys. So I think I'll just be replacing them with those three and that piece and just get rid of the old. So these are the rubber sockets that the fairing plugged into off the, the factory brace. This is the Eagle Headlights brace. So I'm gonna take these bolts off and install this piece onto here because I am keeping the stock fairing. So here's the Eagle Lights uh, headlight, the new headlight. Um, I'm assuming, yeah, it has to be actually. So here's the, the bolt mounted onto the new, the new piece and then the, the socket nipples or the, yeah, the, the socket for the nipples for the fairing. I'm assuming that, that this is how I'm going to be adjusting the headlight for, for aim. Uh, just loosen that nut. Uh, I'm probably, well, yeah, I guess it'd be easier to do that before I put on the, the fairing. This is probably the last video I shoot because the fairing is just, again, plugging in these, uh, plugging in uh, these into, into there and then the two uh, bolts up at the top uh, that, that go into there and there, the bolts that were, that were there that I have sitting on my dryer right now. <laughs> uh, if I need to, if I, if there's anything worthwhile, I'll shoot another segment. Otherwise, this is probably gonna be it. So this is what the finished install looks like. I think what I'm gonna do is take the bike out at night to do the final, like tonight I'll adjust the, the, the final alignment. Okay, so let me turn it on. And let me get low beams. So that's, that's low. And this is a high beam. Uh, really bright. Just turn the bike off. Oh, let me show you one other thing. Uh, these are, this is the Eagle Lights tail lamp. I didn't bother making a video on that. Really easy to put it in. This is the one that strobes. But unfortunately, I can't reach the brakes and show you the strobe. Let's see if I can, well, I kind of can. Let's see. See, that's the quick the strobe action. Oh, it gives two, three, well, th three sets of strobes. Let me try that again. One, two, Three. Oh, that's nice. And then it's steady on. Okay, and I've also done the Eagle Lights, the DRLs, turn signals. Uh, let me, I got a set, well, I got a separate video on that. You can watch that. Super easy to put in. The tail light, super easy to put in. This was the hardest. I was a little afraid. Uh, I was thinking of even taking it to the dealer. But um, what, once I found out that it was just those four attachment points to get that fairing off, the two screws and, and just pulling out the, the stabs from the rubber uh, socket, it was really easy. Um, everything was pretty easy.